Welcome to Haker Equipment Company's training on Elgin Crosswind Model J3000 and up including Tier 4 Operator Class on Operating Principles My name is Kerry Alcott This is video number one of six the titles of this series of the crosswind training are Operating Principles, Component Adjustments, Inside the Cab Controls, Water System, Power Unit, and Fan, Operator Maintenance and Washdown, and Options. Crosswind Description The crosswind can be mounted on any chassis that has proper cab to axle clearance and gross vehicle weight. A few key points of information. The blower is a fan. It is made from Hardix brand steel. This is a hardened steel to help resist abrasion. However, it could still wear. We will talk later about how to get the maximum life out of a fan. The suction hose is 12 and 3 quarters inches in diameter. To help keep you from plugging up a hose, the size of material that can be picked up should be no larger than 10 to 12 inches. The debris body is 8 yards volumetric. The amount of debris that you can put into the hopper is about 6.5 yards. For the sweeper to work, there needs to be air movement through the debris body. Don't overfill. The water tank capacity is 240 gallons. The amount of time depends on how you control the water and how much dust you need to control. The crosswind is a regenerative air street sweeper that uses air movement to move the debris off of the ground. The fan creates the air to move the debris off the ground. It pulls the air from the debris hopper. The air out of the fan is forced through a hose to the pickup head. The pickup head directs the air to a gap that is the width of the pickup head. This is an air knife that cuts the debris off the ground and pushes it to the right side. On the right side is a hose that goes back to the debris body from where the fan pulls the air. Here is a parts drawing of the fan and its housing. At the top is the transition from the debris body to the fan. When the fan is turning, air is pulled from the debris body. The air goes through the fan and is pushed to the bottom of the fan housing. Where the pressure hose is attached and then to the pickup head. Inside the pickup head is a slot where the air is directed towards the ground and is the full width of the pickup head. The air and the debris are moving to the right side of the pickup head to the suction hose. The suction hose is connected to the debris body from where the air was pulled. At the top of the suction hose inside the debris body is a deflector that deflects the debris towards the rear door. The air as it goes up the suction hose is at a high rate of speed carrying all the debris. When the air enters the body that air speed dissipates and the debris falls out of the airflow. The slower air is pulled into the screens that catches the lighter items like leaves or paper. This picture of the debris body has the screens and the dust separator doors removed to show air direction. The air, after going through the screens, goes to the left corner of the body and into the dust separator, where it makes two hard U-turns. The debris is centrifugally thrown outward, hitting the walls and the sides, down a plate to where it falls into a clean-out. The cleaner air then goes back to the fan. 
and our process starts all over again. This process is misunderstood and is confused as vacuum. Vacuum is how strong the pull is when restriction is applied. Example, take a straw and cover one end with your finger. Now suck on the other end. The more your finger allows the air to enter the straw, the less vacuum there is. Recirculating air is air conveyance. Like a conveyor belt to move debris, we trust the air to convey the debris. Think of the crosswind as an air pressure machine. The heavier the debris on the ground, the more air pressure you need to move it. The lighter the debris, the less air pressure. Air pressure is adjusted by engine RPM and the vacuum enhancer. The vacuum enhancer is a door at the bottom of the fan housing that you have control of. There is an electric actuator that opens or closes this door. You have a switch on the console to control this actuator. Let's look at the airflow with the vacuum enhancer in the system. The yellow square will represent the vacuum enhancer door. Starting with the door closed and the fan turning, the air is pulled from the hopper and sent to the pickup head. The air goes through the pressure slot and moves the debris to the suction hose, then back to the hopper. With the vacuum enhancer closed, all the air goes to the pressure slot, making the pressure on the ground higher. If we open the vacuum enhancer all the way, half of the air is thrown away. This reduces the air pressure to the ground. But the suction increases because there is more airflow through the body and less back pressure, and why it's called a vacuum enhancer. But what is happening is we are increasing the air to convey more material. As an operator, you need to determine how much air pressure you need on the ground to move that debris. You need to start with the vacuum enhancer closed. Engine RPMs around 15 to 1800. As you move, look at the right side drag shoe. If the dirt on the ground you are trying to sweep is blowing out from under the drag shoe, bump the vacuum enhancer open 10%, 20%, or 30% until the blowout has just stopped. By opening the vacuum enhancer, you are not only reducing the air pressure to the ground, but also increasing the air speed up to the hopper. You are timing the air pressure and the suction for the type of debris you're trying to pick up. The dirt that was blowing out from under the drag shoe was because there was more air speed going down to the ground than was going up into the hopper. Different conditions. Heavy dirt. More air pressure to the ground. Open the enhancer enough to stop blowout. Look behind the sweeper in the mirrors. If you are leaving or smearing dirt or sand, increase the engine RPMs for more air pressure and readjust the enhancer to reduce the blowout. Slow down. The slower you go, the easier it is for the air to do its job. Light leaves. Less air pressure. Open enhancer all the way. If you are pushing leaves into a pile, increase RPMs for more suction and to help pull front curtains in. Try not to take large amounts of leaves at once, even if a second pass is necessary. Back up and hit the pile into smaller amounts so it can go under the front curtains. Too much airflow. If you run too high of engine RPMs and don't need to, you will have carryover. Carryover is when the air speed is so fast that the debris stay in the air flow and doesn't drop out and goes back through the fan. This is bad. Debris can stick to the fan blades and cause an out of balance, and that will break the fan and housing. It could also plug up the pressure slot, giving you more work to clean it back out. Run the lowest RPMs that can do what needs to be done. 
Water must be on in the suction hose to gain weight to the debris so it can drop out of the airflow better. Never run without water unless you are picking up water. Don't overfill the debris body, the hopper. As the hopper fills up, the airspeed increases and more carryover will occur. Don't go over the top of the side door.